Hi, I'm Deanna Gillen and I'm here at the Field Service Conference with Craig Simon, President and CEO of the FedEx Supply Chain. Craig, thanks so much for being with us today. Hi Deanna, thanks for having me. Can you start us off and just talk to us a little bit about your experience in the field service industry, how it's evolved, say, over the past 10 years or so? I will, and, and first of all, I will say I've been in the logistics industry for 24 years okay. and did a lot in the warehousing space. I've been with FedEx for the last 14 years. Okay. And FedEx uh, in the service space moves a significant amount of transportation, amount of the, the parts and goods mm -hmm. associated with the, the service industry. I have specifically been in the service parts piece of that industry for the last seven years. Okay. In uh, my, my role today and my, my previous role, I had responsibility for the U.S. for FedEx supply chain. Okay. So what's evolved, the way I've seen it evolve is First of all, there's a lot more technology available uh, sure. than there was before. Um, certainly the bandwidth of communications, the amount of inf information that's available uh, has dramatically changed how day-to-day -day operations go on in, in this industry. So as an example, uh, in, you know, when you're dealing with the service industry, and again, I'm going to answer this from a parts standpoint, the sure. logistics side of parts. Um, it's all about getting the right part at the right place at the right time, mm -hmm. but also doing so at the right cost. Yeah. Uh, because if cost didn't matter, you could get any part where it needed to be at, yeah. at the right time, right? But, sure. but, but unfortunately, that's not the case. So you, you, you try to find that right balance between cost and service. Sure. And so what I've seen develop is better tools using that information that technology uh, gives us to make those real-time decisions between service and cost. You have to service the customer, but you want to do so at the right cost. So in that respect, what tools, um, in that respect, what, what tools is FedEx investing in? Is it tablets? Is it smartphones? Well, certainly we use personal digital assistants, PDAs, and have for a long, long time. Sure. Um, we were the first transportation provider that provided those handheld scanners to our couriers so that they could scan the packages at different points along the, the route. Um, and we have continued to invest in that technology uh, to make it uh, make us be able to scan more often, uh, scan more efficiently, um, and, and we'll continue to, to invest in, in that. What we've also done is to combine the in-transit information mm -hmm. with the storage information about where the part is stored so mm -hmm. that a, uh, a technician or a customer service agent or, or, or any one of our customers can go on to FedEx.com and can see where a part is, whether it's sitting in a warehouse or it is in transit to wherever it needs to be. Okay. Um, and so that's where we spent uh, a lot of our, our more recent investments in, in the com combining of that st static inventory and in transit inventory information. Okay. Um, what challenges are your customers facing right now? And what does FedEx do to try to combat those? Well, challenges that uh, the service industry is facing in, in our customers is, uh, you know, is a large part due to environment. So um, we have become accustomed to continuous improvement. Um, our, our, our economy has, our, our customers have. So, you know, when you're talking about uh, service companies or companies required to, to maintain service on, on particular equipment, their customers mm -hmm. are looking for higher SLA performance, faster turnaround time, okay. and they're looking for lower cost. Okay. And it's just, it's, it's continual. So we in turn, being a service provider to those service companies, okay. uh, need to do the same thing. Um, so for us, that's meant we have added more stocking locations so that inventory can be placed closer to where our customer's customer product is. Um, we have added more flexibility in the way our, our systems work um, and who can see the information and how frequently we capture information. Um, you know, for example, we've got customers whose uh, technicians are using their PDA uh, devices, uh, whatever kind of mobile device it is, mm -hmm. and at the time of order, 
they can see where each individual part is that's closest to them. And mm -hmm. they can make a choice uh, whether they want it in location, from location A or from location B. And, and you may sure. say, well, well, why wouldn't they just take the closest one? Well, it, they know what route they're going to be taking. Uh -huh. And so it may be that they're going to choose one that's a little bit farther away because it's on the route that they're going. All so right. we give them, we integrate to them and give them visibility of that information real time. And, and so that's some of the ways we've invested in, in our capabilities and our technology to integrate very, very closely with our service provider customers. Are there any security concerns that come in with that, though? Um, yes, uh, certainly anytime you're running networks, whether it be wireless or not, uh, the, the security of that information is of utmost importance. And everything that we do at FedEx meets the most stringent guidelines for information security. We've got, in fact, a, a, a whole information security department uh, yeah. with standards and, and all the protocols we use are designed to keep that information safe uh, and, and, and not let any, any harm come from, from any potential misuse of that information. Okay. And um, just taking a little step back for a sec, looking at the field service and logistics industry as a whole, what trends have you been seeing? Um, we've heard in all these panels. What trends have you been seeing over in the past five years, ten years? Yeah, uh, trends. I think there's a couple of them. I think, first of all, there's a global trend. Okay. Um, certainly, uh, multinational companies have been operating around the world by, by definition uh, for, for years and years. But there is now a greater expectation that the service requirement is going to, or the service is going to be delivered consistently no matter where you are. Yeah. Whether you're in, in Des Moines or in Bangalore, in India, they expect the same type of service, but the infrastructure isn't, isn't the same. Yeah. Um, so uh, that's where provi service providers need to find ways of creating consistency of service across the globe. One of the things that we've done is we have in, in implemented our one of the things that we've done is we've implemented our warehouse management system, which is the, the key inventory of, of record system uh, in our operations around the world. Okay. So no matter where a customer comes on with us now, they are coming on to that same warehouse management system. That helps drive consistency in the process for, for our customers. So global is one trend that we've seen. Another trend we've seen is increased flexibility. You know, the service industry really has, has always been about, about flexibility, but often that's been at the expense of, of inventory. So you, you find flexibility by putting inventory out in, in more places. Companies can't afford to have inventory out as much as they used to. So, you know, we've seen them search for flexible options, faster speeds, faster turnaround times. You know, when, when we provide service to, to our customers' parts, uh, they can place an order with us and it's ready within half an hour. That's, that's the guarantees that, that we make. Um, and that's at any point in the network around the world that that inventory is, 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 is sitting. So it's that type of speed along with the reliability that gives our customers added flexibility so that they don't have to have as much inventory. So the safety stock required to meet the same service level okay. it has, has been able to come down. So I'd say those are two trends that we've we've seen is is global consistency and flexibility. And my last question, can you speak to one trend that I've noticed um, or gleaned rather from just sitting in on these panels, the evolution of technician into salesman? Yeah, the uh, I, I think that's a natural evolution. You know yeah. the. The technician is the person who is in front of the customer. He is sure. the face of, of that company. You know, as FedEx, we, we have had the opportunity to put our couriers as the face of, of FedEx in front of our customers for, for, mm -hmm. for decades now. In fact, we just uh, hit our 40th anniversary of oh, FedEx uh, last week. Thank you very much. It was, <laughs> it was a, lot, a lot of fun. I'm proud to be a part of it. <laughs> um, and so having that service technician as the face of the customer I think is so critically important. Uh, the, the value of keeping a customer is, is tenfold uh, the, the expense of having to go get another one. 
Mm. And so uh, combine that with the value associated with having a service technician be the face of, of his company or her company to, to their customer is, is such that when there is a problem, their customer can, can help personify that and, and it allows a, a, a communication to occur that wouldn't normally be there yeah. if they're simply having to, to place a phone call to a call center. Mm -hmm. And you know, what's, what's more important than having an issue with a customer is how quickly your company can react to that and solve that problem. In fact, customer loyalty, in fact, in, in a lot of cases can be increased by having a problem and resolving it effectively actually increases customer loyalty in some cases yeah. as opposed to never having a problem at all, which is yeah. kind of bizarre, but, and, and to have that, that personal relationship with that technician, it allows them to, to enhance that experience for the customer even more. Okay. Well, Craig, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thank you for, for being at Field Service.